what's going on YouTube hope everybody is doing well welcome back to the channel thanks for visiting this video it's a snowy day I'm driving and it's a snowy cruddy day in Chicago this is probably the biggest snow we've had so far this year and uh, I am on my way right now to Liberty Dodge in Libertyville it's where I've bought a couple of my vehicles the uh, the Ram specifically in the Trackhawk and I'm on my way there because one I am taking the Ram in for a recall uh, it looks to be something relatively minor but uh, need to get the uh, the recall fixed on the Ram and uh, more importantly I bought a Jeep Rubicon shut the front door In a world where the road ahead changes, we embrace every challenge and bask in the thrills. The path has evolved, but freedom drives us forward because legends are forever. I do intend to at some point have the Jeep lifted, probably soon. Uh, I may do some of the work myself. I'll probably have my dealership do some of that work as well, just because I will buy a Mopar lift so that it's warrantied. Uh, that's important to me, that it's uh, warrantied. I don't want to buy a brand new Jeep and then not have it covered. The Jeep I'm buying is a 2018 JL, so it's the new model eight-speed transmission. I opted for the V6 instead of the turbo V4. Uh, the four-cylinder. The four-cylinder is. It's you know this is a, the first year of that engine, so it's a new engine, and uh, the V6 is more proven. I would say it's been around for I think five or six years, and uh, you know slight difference in horsepower, a little bit better fuel economy with the four-cylinder, but. Uh, if you follow the channel, you know that fuel economy is not really my number one priority when it comes to choosing a vehicle. So, uh, so it was okay uh, with that. And uh, but I will get a lift. I'm thinking either 35 or 37 inch tires. Uh, I'm still deciding there. Um, goal will be to you know I'll probably either use the factory wheels that come with it. Uh, maybe eventually upgrade the wheels, but. Uh, you know, less wheel, more tires, so that I get lots of cushion uh, if I do, in fact, take the car off 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 road at all. And uh, I did again opt for the, the Rubicon. Uh, like most Rubicon owners, I will probably not utilize all of the extra features of the Rubicon. Things like the you know the sway bar disconnect and the the lock and, or the differential locks and uh, numerous other features. You know, the gearing. Uh, but it's great to have and if I don't keep the vehicle generally speaking the Rubicons are more desirable From a resale standpoint and that's one of the things that I also take into consideration when I invest I know it seems like I buy a lot of stuff and uh, I maybe sometimes don't necessarily care or think these things out But I actually do uh, a lot of thought into them and everything that I buy Generally has a really good residual value and will hold its value and I'm hoping the Rubicon will do the same but uh, yeah, so I uh, will I'm sure put a winch on it. We'll do either 35s or 37s. If you have ideas or thoughts on tires you've used on a Jeep, I uh, would love to hear them. You know, looking for advice there. I do a lot of research, but would love to hear some firsthand experience of people who have um, have done, uh, you know, had trial and error and, and maybe had some good or bad experiences with different tires or wheels or winches or really any of the accessories you can put on Jeeps.
so here it is the morning after the Jeep Rubicon so I've uh, not really driven it much so far bought it late last night and uh, just got it home today figured I'd make a quick video to show it to you give you a quick walk around not going to do a full review at this point but uh, it is a 2018 Jeep Rubicon I know 2019s will be coming out before too long but uh, went with the 2018 it is a JL, so it's the newer style for those of you that are familiar with Jeeps. It's got the steel bumper, lots of different upgrades on this one. Uh, the steel bumper is an upgrade, and you can remove these end caps to make it kind of a stubby bumper so it clears larger tires. Cool uh, vented hood, which I like. It's pretty cool. And uh, it'll be going in this coming week for a lift and 37-inch tires. So stay tuned for that. We'll be doing a review on that once that's done. Uh, got a few, probably put some lights on it as well. Just kind of give you a quick walk around. Does have a hitch. Might be a problem from a clearance standpoint. I don't know that I'll really ever be towing anything with this, but uh, it was part of the uh, this particular package. So I, I went with it. Who knows, maybe I'll put a bike rack or something in there um, from a cycling standpoint. Interior-wise, still dirty from our stuff in here from the dealership last night. We've got this new red interior, or at least the, uh, the red trim in the seats, which I like. This might be a little loud, we'll see. You can actually swap this out with another one that's like a grayish color or the same color as everything on the dashboard. So may end up going with that one, we'll see. It's kind of growing on me. And uh, this one's got the, pardon the zoom here, or the focus, the heated seats uh, on both sides, as well as the locking uh, sway bar. You can turn, you know, lock or unlock the sway bar, aux switches for different lights, probably have a winch on the front as well. This one's got the hill descent controls and uh, pretty much, pretty much loaded. It's got the big infotainment center. Let's see if I can turn, there we go. Um, so you can kind of see that it's got the you know the navigation which would have to load up and uh, you know all the different apps you can control things like the the heated seats and whatnot up here other settings I haven't really played around with it too much but I have a few other Mopars all the systems are pretty much the same so um, that's it you know pretty much leather interior. The, uh, the top, I ended up buying, I opted for uh, the two tops, so I have the hard top, and the one that I have, um, or the one that I bought here, there's another top over there in the garage. I'm not going to unbox that now, but I'll show you the box at least. Back seat, got some floor mats in here, we'll get the all-weather floor mats probably next week sometime, but leather back seat, pretty straightforward. And then on the back, it's got the backup camera right here. LED lights on both the front and the back, which is a nice, nice add-on. And here's the, you know, the cargo space in the back. Pretty nice. A little bit of space here for storage. And then they got an area here where you actually put all of the, you know, the door hinges, the nuts and bolts from the roof. Uh, when you take and remove the roof or remove the windshield, you can put all the parts there so everything's accounted for and you don't lose anything. So, probably won't be doing that until the spring. It's got a Alpine subwoofer. I'm actually really impressed with the sound system in this thing. It's it's pretty pretty loud. Um, not only does it have the, the subwoofer, but it's got a um, it's got a sound bar up here. And it's essentially right behind your ears and head, you know, when you're driving. So it sounds uh, really good. I'm very impressed with it. And uh, over here is the box that I removed from the back. So this was in the back of the car, if you can believe it. And this whole thing is filled up with the second top that goes with the Jeep. So some foam that I'll have to get rid of. But uh, this is the soft folding top that I'll put on in the spring and it uh, you remove the hard top obviously and it mounts in the back and then slides over it's a uh, pretty easy to operate uh, I'll do a video on that later once we get that installed so uh, garage is relatively empty wife is at work the black demon is getting a detail 
right now in a clear wrap at luminescent detailing and the viper is sitting up there lonely and uh, the red demon the new red demon that we bought with 30 miles is coming on monday now it looks like it's getting picked up on monday in houston so right now the uh, garage is pretty pretty empty so the uh going into winter obviously not going to be doing a lot of demon and viper videos so this is probably what you're going to be seeing the ram is currently not here it's at the dealership i drove this home last night so i have to get out and pick up the ram today it was getting uh, a recall programming thing fixed and uh and again we'll have that back shortly so that's it thanks for watching the channel more videos to come on this awesome jeep uh, weather is starting to hit here as you can see in chicago a little bit of snow the last couple days and i uh, look forward to getting this thing lifted next week probably going to put 37s on it i'll put a full parts list in uh, that video when i make that next week so you know what we did to the car and uh yeah should be should be an awesome time so if you're a jeeper uh would love to hear from you you know tips thoughts ideas on mods and uh you know what are the uh, this is my first jeep wrangler that i've ever owned i've owned Trackhawks and other jeeps grand cherokees over the years but never owned a wrangler so uh what does a rookie like me need to know would love to hear it and uh hopefully i'll see you out there on the trail i'm still trying to learn the uh the jeep wave so uh, if you don't know what that is you're not a jeep person i guess but uh thanks for watching the channel Please consider subscribing, hit the bell for future notifications on future videos, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Stay safe.